Salut tout le monde! Today we're going to talk about kitting down. So kitting down is the process of sorting and cleaning everything up after you're done a diamond painting. I had started doing it with a specific format in mind, but it's just not working for me and I don't like the results. So I'm actually going to do something different. I'm going to go back to the way I normally sort uh, and store my drills. I'm actually going to be starting over today in the sense of I'm creating new baggies for these colors rather than joining them with or mixing them with the other stuff I have. Um, Dax or, DAC or Diamond Art Club quality drills are, are pretty high. They have a nice shine, so I just don't want to mix them with the others. Uh, Okay, so I brought out my label maker, and so the first thing I'm going to do is create the labels for each and every DMC code that I have in this kit. So I've got my standard label brother maker, I've got a six millimeter tape in there, which is probably just about this size or a little smaller. So all I'm going to go through is, um, since they are already in DMC order, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add the DMC codes in, 208. And because I want to save label space, rather than just doing one, printing it, doing one, printing it, what I do is I just add two spaces and then do the rest of the numbers. So that's 210. Yeah, so apparently I've been typing all that time, but the line is full. So that's fine. We're going to cancel. I'm going to print what I've already done. So we're gonna, that's going to pop out. And it's teeny weeny little label. Now I have it set to chain print so that it doesn't feed extra stuff at the end if I don't need it. Right now I don't want to feed it. And I'm going to get rid of all the previous text. The last number I had, I think it was 823. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be that down the line. So 912. Okay to feed. Yes, I'm done. I want to get my extra tab and cut it off. So now I've got all my little DMC labels. And I'm realizing now that what I actually should have done is put the word DAC on there. But maybe I'll just store these separately. Note to self. So I brought in some scissors. We're going to pile this up and get it out of the way for now. Um, what I had done earlier as well is I'd gone through my trusty Happy Little Trees Bob Ross lunchbox that I keep baggies and extra kits in and drills. Right now my square drills are in here because I don't have enough to, to fill a binder. So what I did is I went through that and got a bunch of baggies out. Some have previous labels you can see from, from other projects or because they're duplicate baggies or whatever. So I'm just gonna cut these up uh, so that they're individual. I probably should have done that in a nicer, neater pile, but whatever. I don't really work neatly. That's that's really not what I do. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so then basically I do this like I, I try to do this as not complicated as possible So take off the old label Grab a new one. I don't care what order it's in. It doesn't matter. They're all going in baggies, right? So 3756 we will get rid of that stray drill that's in there We will find our 3756 And pour her in That's it, so 3756 is good to go. And then I just keep going. You know what? Let's be smart about this today. Let's be smart, just for today. So, just because I don't have a funnel, doesn't mean I can't do this in a nice, neat way. 
That's not gonna create a mess. Yes, yes. What I'm unkidding here today is actually Sweet Tooth by Diamond Art Club. It was a beautiful piece that I just finished with art by Micah Jelena. So if you're interested in seeing that, I will post the unboxing over here somewhere. Um, so that's fun to watch. I also did a really nice, like a really nice, I just did a review. And let you know my initial thoughts and what I thought of the canvas after working on uh, Diamond Art Club for the very first time. So you can also check that out linked up there if you'd like. Yeah. So I just realized I've been working on a few and then totally wasn't recording. <laughs> so sorry about that. You missed a few. But uh, it's okay. I'm gonna. I'm likely speeding through everything anyway, so not to worry. You're still still getting the gist of what I'm doing. So those little red baggies. Well, the baggies with the red line on them. They're not very thick. They're very, very um, thin, cheapy baggies. So I notice that sometimes when I'm um, pulling off old stickers, I actually end up tearing the bag. So that's what you just saw. So I just reached into, I just reached inside of Bob Ross and picked out a plastic bag. Okay, so I brought in the extra black and I'm just gonna grab a bigger baggie so that I can put it all together. In the case of three, like this extra one here, I'm I'm not gonna bother, um, oops, there we go. I'm not gonna bother unbagging that. There's no sense, it's perfectly good in the bag where it is and then I know that that's like a full, full set. Oop, better label that. Because I didn't really need to do that for that bag, but <laughs> use the tray anyways. Keep it nice and neat. And just squish some of the air out, and there we go. So now they're all, everything is all bagged up and ready to be stored. Okay, so I've cleaned some stuff up a bit and put away the things that I normally use for um, the baggy part of it. All of this I reuse. Um, I won't likely do it on camera, but and I'm not particular about the stickers. I will just go in and remove them all. Um, I have some undo that can take them all. Like, I don't really care about this because I'm just going to slap another label or another sticker right on top of it. Um, if it gets too gummy or whatever, like I said, I have undo, U-N-D-U, that will easily take these off without... Um, leaving any markings behind but again I'm not concerned so it, before I kit up my next kit I will go ahead and either remove all these labels or just plop the new one on top I'm not concerned about that at all so now that my stuff or that my drills are all in little baggies um, what do I do with them I'm currently using the binder method because I don't have too too much um, I don't have so many drills that I need a box or container right now. So far, this is working. So essentially, this is just um, just a soft binder from a three ring binder from the dollar store. Nothing special. And I don't have them in any specific order in here, except for, you know, the 100s are together, the 300s are together, 900s, 800, that sort of thing. But within them, I, as you can see, I haven't sorted them. I don't, again, I don't have enough 
for that to be worthwhile for me. So what I'm going to do with the little baggies first is try to put them in some sort of order. So I'm going to put all the hundreds together, all the two hundreds, all the three hundreds. So sort them in some sort of kind of sort of chronological order. For now, I'm going to leave the specialty or the glow in the dark ones aside, as well as the black. These will probably go back in the my little Bob Ross lunchbox. Um, it just, I think, works better in there for now. Relative order that makes sense. So the first is the twos. And they're kind of mixed in with the ones, so now I'm getting more of them. So what I'm going to do is actually grab a sheet from the back, and we will add a page for the twos. So yeah, so previously it looks like I didn't have enough twos to really bother forming their own sheet. Now I do, so we're just going to sort that back together and then add our new 200s DMC code in there. So you can see, again, if you have a lot of baggies or a lot of stuff going on, this isn't always the, the I almost said brightest, but the most awesome method. Um, the other thing I know, I will be able to not worry about the fact that I didn't put DAC, because I realized I didn't, you know, indicate that these are Diamond Art Club, but the label is a little bit smaller. These I use a 9mm and those I use a 6mm. So that's okay. I will know that. And if it ever does get like an outrageous number of drills and such, um, I will, um, you know, change the label up. I just realized 208, only 208. So that's good. I was staring at those numbers the whole time, wasn't even paying attention. Perfect. So three. It's actually a good thing that I'm keeping them separate. Sorry, I think I just hit the camera. Is um, you can see these are both three three three, but slightly different shades. Nothing major. If you were desperate, like if I was desperate and I had to work um, with these extras, I would have no problem with that. It'll work out fine. As it turns out, I actually did organize the 3000s into some sort of, like I did apparently separate like the 3000s from the 3700 from the 38, so go me. <laughs> So that's it. Um, that's a diamond kit sorted and stored. Um, these, like I said, will go into the little little lunchbox that I keep all the extra stuff in. And that's that. Uh, so hope you like that. Just got a you know a quick view into hopefully quick. It did feel really long, but I'm gonna zip zap through some of those. Um, but maybe this was helpful, or if you just enjoy watching kidding up, uh, kidding down. There you go. And uh, do stay tuned. I am absolutely going to start another diamond painting, so I will have a video kidding up coming up. Thanks for watching. À la prochaine.